So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. What bitter cold bitch that rogue. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Should be fun. Of course, not gonna skip the ride. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Panna! How's Nash? Doesn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm hmm. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for them. Nash is dead, congrats. Wonder what you were hoping to get out of that. Cause I don't think it was just a matter of wounded egos. Even wounded egos wouldn't do something that gonk. Hmm? And Ann Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Noah. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back sure enough, but this place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come.
Another one over here. Hey, you there. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh, no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Aldecaldos. You think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Feel alive in the dead of space. Could just start over again. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. Talking about Rogue? No. But thanks for reminding me. V, do you think I can make a fresh start with her, too? She seems to better at ease on the right people. You'll work it out. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here, just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. <laughs> Not exactly what I meant. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um, uh, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... calls for a little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. Noah will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Good night. Mm hmm. Gonna puke. Meet me at the Sunset Motel Garage. I'll be waiting. Oh, new gig. New gig. P 
Panam will wait. Actually, not only one gig, but more gigs. Fantastic. Panam. Meet Panam at midnight. Uh, she's gonna wait. Pretty sure she's gonna wait. There shouldn't be anything else here. Another treat or two. Uh, before I go and do some gigs, I actually want to go back to that cave where I've been before with Panam, where we uh, killed an Ash Bane. Because now, after that main quest, uh, that cave should have something for us, something cool. Badlands race. Hey, next race is in, is in Badlands. The nomads don't F around when it comes to burning rubber on their home turf. So I'm gonna need you to top form, like for reals. Meet me at the end of the Brooklyn street at the new dom. Call me, call like last time. Same as before, don't mention it. Maybe I have to wait a little bit, a day to pass, and then come back here. Okay, I'll come back later. Maybe I have to wait a bit.
Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey, can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Amazing, we're getting so much stuff. Amazing. Hey, Claire, next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. We'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Nova, FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join you in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. V. Good to see you again. Got another race to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? It's not a fan-friendly event, is it? Who'd want to bake in this sun? Speed, carnage, a crunching metal symphony? Yeah, dull stuff. You forget something? <laughs> I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Bully would have to ride shotgun. Bully is a fantastic shot. He is, he is, but he's talking always. Too much. His mouth never stops running. It's distracting. I take the turns too wide. So next time I actually don't make it, there's duct tape in the trunk. Just saying. What? Man, I can't hear you, wait. Oh, you mean him? Honestly, I don't know. I don't, must have got solo, I don't. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead, try. You ready to talk? Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. Mm -hmm. So you'll have your hands full. You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so gonna wait in the car. Sure. Hey guys, remember! Maximum madness! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get your pants on right, strap in! And fire up your engine! 30 seconds and counting! Hey, you! Ignore him. Luigi tries to get in people's heads. Yeah? What's up? Just wanted to wish you luck! Thanks! What a nice guy.
Ruby. Like, chance of the final well? Better believe it. Drive up to the finish line. Why, in no way the missus will believe I bet on the winning horse. Just the him? fucking way. Oh, God. Fuck. Spare me from these fucking children. Okay, come back. But this time, no fucking shortcuts. How am I doing? You're too wide around corners and slow down the last straightaway, but I'm nitpicking. So, no regrets putting me behind the wheel? Not yet. Your last driver is better than I am? He was. A good husband. An amazing wheelman. Uh. Uh -huh. How'd he die? If. You don't mind me asking. How do any competitive racers die? We reached the final last year. We were strong, uh -huh. out in front when... Maybe we should change the subject. Hmm. Yeah. You want to lift to my garage? Sure, thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Like we both got matching clothes, uh, killers moving 
stylish, riding like a hybrid. Pull up like a birthday and hit him with surprise. You gon' need the first aid and medical supplies, boy. Knock your ass back to a different time, boy. What you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. You looking at? I be cooking up east side where I do it at. What, I do it at? what your problem is? Tell me what your problem is. Problem is. Trust me, you don't want it with the problem, kids. What you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. Looking at? I be cooking up east side where I do it at. Do it what at? your problem is? Tell me what your problem is. What? Trust me, you don't want it with the problem, kids. Nah. Young gon' get him some. Huh. Huns no set of ones. Huh. Call him up, never down. Drugs gon' keep me up. What? Run some cheddar like string cheese. String cheese. Going to the money, then bring me. Bring Long me. Beach, Juice City, I'm Gypsy. <laughs> so grimy, but my fit hit six G's. Six G's. Uh, ride so they see me, I'm fly than a crit. What? Satellite high, I'm higher than a blimp. Uh, big money, eat Italian with the shrimp. Huh. Then chicks, big hips, all baddies give me lip. Give this me fit lip. hits big time, knock it out the park. Huh. Yo, chick, hits a line and sliding at the dark. <laughs> uh, feds wanna get at me, uh. celebs wanna get at me. Uh. I'm the plug like E. I go numb off three O's. Kidding me? Get I need three more before it's hitting me. Uh, what you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. You looking at? I be cooking up east side where I do it at. What, I do it what at? your problem is? Tell me what your problem is. Problem Trust me, you don't want it with the problem, kids. Uh, what you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. Looking at? I be cooking up east side where I do it at. Do it what at? your problem is? Tell me what your problem what? is. Trust me, you don't want it with the problem, kids. Uh, There was some loot here. The 
there's one thing I'll never get about the Corpo Psyche. They got it all. Power, prestige, Scrooge levels of eddies, and they still act like complete gonks. Take my client, for instance. Some hotshot from Kang Tao went and got wasted in Arroyo. Then, well, Arroyo wasted him back. He's alive, but lost something valuable, whatever that means to these people. I need to find it before his overlords catch wind of it. Get to work. Details attached.
Drag this out. Got the data. What now? Good. Very good. We should meet as soon as possible. There's a place I know where... Hold on. Sending you the coordinates. See you soon, then. Don't wait. Hurry. I believe I got everything, but I have to double check it. Thank God you're here. Eddie's Carl. Right, right. Here. Fuck! What is it? Damn it! Save me! Shoot to kill! Let's go! He's using cover! Ugh!
So to speak. Best if you hand over the eddies and duck the fuck out. Here! V, gotta admit, I'm impressed. Things got dicey at the end there. Could've gone tits up in a hurry. But hey, client's still breathing and so are you. I'll arrange a safe house for Carl to sit tight in. Guessing he'll gladly front the extra bill. Slick work, really. You go overboard once, just once, and your life turns into bad stuff i'm done v but at least my heart's still beating and i have you to thank for it f that shard and f kang tao good luck carl I got a Delta. They may be tracking us. Thanks, V. Okay, let's see. Let's go do... Let's go help Judy. Hey V, got some news about Skippy, our chat little chum with the moody trigger. I had a visit with the techie who created him and lost him in the card game. He had a hot hand at the tables lately, so he came with the cash to buy his buddy back. Not the whole gun, mind you, just the AI component. Anyway, thought maybe you might want what's left, the gun I mean, without the AI. 
I get the feeling you can be sentimental type, so maybe you'll want it as a keepsake. If you're interested, you can pick it up at my place, near the elevator. Cheers. But is Skippy... Skippy without the AI? Uh, yeah, let's visit her to get the gun. There he is. V. About the cyber psychosis work? Nothing yet. Okay. Need more. Then I'm out. V, what's up? We're talking. Nope. I'm out. My car. I'm going to leave all iconics. The samurai stuff. Now oh, this one looks good. I think I'm gonna go and put it. Gonna go check it out, put it on. Not at me! Not at me! He keeps hitting my car! contact from Sandra, the girl we saved at the start of the game. Hey. She says, hey, it's Sandra Dorset. 
The one you saved from the scavengers. After what happened, I get the feeling I can trust you. Would you be up for retrieving a little something for me? I'll pay, of course, but it's kind of a sensitive matter, so I'd rather not get a fixer involved. It's my data bank. The scavenger must have taken it while they were keeping me there. It's still connected to the net, so I, tra I traced it before they caught on and switched it off. I'm sending you the coordinates. Call me if you find it. I'd be super grateful. Data's confidential. I trust you won't access it. Amazing. Amazing. What is this, huh? In the bathroom! Oh, Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was, Stop talking. I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse? She's gone. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... <sighs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something, that it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead horde of them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? They're short on people. Have trouble keeping up. Big surprise. Who'd want to be a corpo fattened pig in Sty City? Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside?
Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Can't wrap my head around it. I never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. That's a lovely octopus. Underwater where thoughts can breathe easy. I noticed how when I was sitting on the couch how great the city looks from that position. 
truly looks awesome. Just having that in the background. Wow, Judy has TV near the toilet? Wow. And she can even rotate it, change it. Wow. Netwatch has warned that without proper maintenance, any Busan-based AI could... Well... I think that's more like a tablet or a PC than just a TV, but still, still pretty cool. Okay, let's go help uh, Sandra. And then maybe do some uh, gigs.
should be able to crack it still, right? Yeah. Looks like I was here before. And uh, I did some stuff here. This is where I found out about this guy. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna... Okay. So I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna... Let's call Sandra. V. You're V, right? You find the data bank? Someone's back in tip-top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. Jackie's, uh... Sure, I'll pass it on. Knowing Jackie, though, he... Probably take that as his cue to ask for your number and call you up for a date. But that'll never happen, cause he... Jackie, uh... Never mind. I'm sure you got a lot on your plate. Is everything okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. So, did you find my data bank? Oh. Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop yeah. seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks.
Uh, okay, I'm gonna save. And then uh, hack the thing. Let's see what's here. Copy malware. For Night Corp internal use only. The tests have come back as successful. The artificial intelligence CN07 has proven itself capable of bypassing commercial, device-specific and macro security systems accessible to Night Core employ employees of the lowest rank. None of these test subjects were aware that this experiment was being conducted on them. Sandra, it's me, V. I got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Can anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, um, friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, n no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? If it's not the scavs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything? It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? Uh, yes, I did. All right, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? Nothing. Nothing. I don't care what you do in your spare time. After all, it's a free country, right? Huh. That's what they want you to think. You haven't seen what I've seen. Anyway, I'll take your indifference as a sign of good faith. Here, you can go now. Thanks. Be seeing you. I'm talking to you. Are you getting what you want out of life? Let me guess. Food from a tube, rescue water. Okay, let's meet. Uh, not meet. Let's, uh, do some gigs.
Nix. Hey, got a job for you. Swing by when you have a sec. anything? D! Hey! Come here, let's talk. Hey, I was wondering. You wouldn't happen to have any gigs for me. Nope. Nothing? Really? Not for you. Thanks. Appreciate your honesty. Only thing you'll get here for free. See the regulars? They've got dozens of jobs behind them. They trust each other. Now put yourself in my shoes. How do you think it'll look when they find out I'm putting a crew together with you in it? You had one job with Dex and fucked it up spectacularly. You know that's not true. Who cares? This isn't about skill, V. Only thing that matters is reputation. Why do you think you work alone? Look, V, just do what you do best, all right? Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own risk. You used to know Johnny Silverhand. What was he like? Uh, Johnny? Where did that come from? Seems to be as many rumors about him as there were 50 years ago. And not all of them gel together. I know you two were close. That's why I asked. Huh. What was Johnny like? Strong. <laughs> Arrogant. Uncompromising. He'd burn down half the city just to prove he was right. And burn the other half just for fun. He was like a kid with a box of matches and a can of chew too. Tough luck. You don't know the half of it. Anyway, doesn't matter. I won't speak ill of the dead. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own risk. How is it, being the boss of the afterlife? What is this? Am I on News 54 Entertainment? Anyway, I don't like that label, boss. Makes it sound like I've got an army of greasy henchmen. What would you rather go by? Hmm, good question. I'd have to think about that one. You know what? I'll add it to my list of things to do, right at the very bottom. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own risk. You know what? Forget I said anything. Probably for the best. Was your best idea for some quick scratch. Next day, I was a pariah. She cut me off completely. And nobody would take my calls. It was like I was dead. Good thing you only tested Regina. She's gentle. Any other fixer, you'd have had multiple fractures in both legs.
I'm off the clock, hon. V, dog, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? All right, lay it on me. Was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classified. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? A used Mr. Stud? Cheap? Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you and earn you. You want me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, my man. Zipping you the deets on the cellar. And luck be with you all the way. R3NO. Got it. Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prem, I flicked you the address. Come by your lonesome. Come alone, I have eyes everywhere. Sure. What's it like, working for Rogue? It's fine. But that's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Listen, from one netrunner to another, you got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bardmoss era. Rach Bartmoss, D. Bartmoss. Tell me you're fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. I heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows. But I was able to dig up a few classic Bartmoss relics. Here, let me show you. Guess who? So next race is practically in my backyard, which means I need to make sure folks around here know what I 
No, I walk my talk. Meet at the corner of Brandon and uh, Wollison. Uh, give me a call when you get there. Sure, let's give them hell. control over my destiny just rubs me wrong because i mean how can any of us be held accountable for what we do if we don't truly own the choices we make and on growl fm we're all about accountability but what do you think fate does it rate with you or is it a load of bunk? police fate drop us a Best line police car Let ever know. you know where growlfm.web now, here's a little something to settle you in. Hey! Spellbook, you got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Are you trying to fuck me? No, not at all. I just. Because I really got it in for people who try that. Always tempted to end any conversation like that. Violently, abruptly. You'd be making a mistake. A big one. I'm not out to con you. Also, I'm not a victim. I'm prepared just as well as you are. Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay, I'll take you at your word. You won't regret it. Better not, or you will, bigly, giving you my word on that. Just flipped you the coordinates. Mm-hmm, we'll see. Data Tech XPR. Gotta be like 50 years old. At least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day.
anything? V. Hey, we're not done here. So, you got the book? You got my eddies? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved. Okay, now let's do that one, or let's do the race. No, that one, that one, and then race. Yeah.
balance keeps Night City alive. Without it, we'd all beat each other's throats. Corpse, gangs, mercs, everyone. And where do fixers fit in? If one side starts to get too much power, a fixer can help tip the scales toward the other, discreetly. Think about it. Balance keeps biz from running dry. Anyway, why the lecture, right? Because it's time for a little intervention. Check the attachment. This trash is older than me. Gongs actually come here to buy this shit? Shut your trap, Misha. Got a customer. What? Want something? Been in biz here long. Huh? A lot of years of sales under your belt, it seems. Yep. No frills kind of place. Most buy something quick or get the fuck out. Got some hefty price tags here. Price of quality, Chumbada. What do you sell? Mr. Manager, the valued customer wants to know what we sell. What? Oh, uh, some, uh, wires, chips, other electronic shit. You heard the manager. Heard you sling some pretty serious tech around here. Listen, you're gonna shop or you win. Here's what we got. Okay, driver is on route. Thanks again, Nix is so happy that I did that job. Let's take her out. And then I'll come back. received. Thank you, V. Keep up the good work. The streets will remember your name.
Man, Silencer is pretty cool. Silencer feels good, man. But it's not long before he realizes his dumb mistake. Unless absolutely necessary, you should never walk around Night City.
Talking change today, folks. The positive kind. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, it usually comes after shit's hit the fan. That's the way I see it anyway. See, humans are conservative creatures by nature. Tend not to do anything even mildly uncomfortable unless mm, they really have to. Even if it's good for them. Hell, some have to hit rock bottom to get their shit together and even try to make a difference. And that's just change on a personal level. Wanna go bigger? Make a positive impact on society? It's gonna take more than words, more than actions even. That requires a grand fucking gesture. Like, say, burying an ax in the heads of three tiger claws for raping and killing one of your dolls, a la Lizzie Borden. Now that was some statement. Sure, bastards killed her for it, but that just sealed the deal. Damage was done, fuse was lit, and oh boy, did that bomb go off. We rioted right across Night City, formed the mocks, and... Knock, knock. Listen up. Got a corpo in dire need. Our boy, he got sick, ended up in a wheelchair. Now he's reaching for his boss's fat wallet. Now that, I can get down with. But what do you say? Not about to leave him hanging, are we? Deeds attached. Could always be worse. Did El Capitan send you? Yeah, I'm V. One moment, please. Sorry, be right with you. What's all this? Um, Baldi's a dealer, Blondie's living in the motel. You always just talk to yourself? Hmm? Oh, uh, right. I wanted to make sure you weren't followed. I think we're okay. Ah, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Pedro. You can still back out, you know. Look, you're shaking like a loose exhaust pipe. Maybe this ain't the job for you. No, I've got it all planned out already. El Cap tells me you're running a jump. Could use some help. Mm-hmm. I'd like to, uh, borrow a company truck. <laughs> you want to rob your employer? Well, yes, but not so loud, please. This is your first time, right? A jump like this. <laughs> Perfect. But I'm well prepared. This is an act of war against a megacorp. You prepared to deal with the blowback? <laughs> they won't let this go. I know. Okay then, what's your plan? Right, the plan. Uh, here's what I have so far. Our target is an automated Zeta Tech transport hauling AV thrusters. Its route changes daily via a randomizer. So how do we track it? I refactored the randomizer. I know how it'll work. Sure, so you can predict its path. Then what? I'll stop the truck first, then breach its system. Where do I come in? You'll be there waiting already. You'll hop in and follow my instructions to steal it. What's on it? Chinese icebreaker. Should punch a hole in Zeta Tech security. Can't hack our... 
their truck without it. What do you need these glow holes for anyway? They're not too big, easy to sell, and well worth hundreds of thousands. A drop in the bucket for the higher ups, but for me, it'll change my life. Where should I wait for the truck? A place called Kenmore Cafe, up front. The truck should drive by around 5 p.m. every day for the next few days. I'll call once you're there. Pedro, let me be real for a sec. You're clearly not the rebel type. Why do this? I... I'd rather not talk about it. All right, no worries. Thanks. Appreciate it. Run through it again. I stop the truck at the intersection where you'll be waiting, then I breached its systems. And I hop in and help you steal it. Okay, count me in. Be in touch soon. Thanks. Remember, intersection just before Kenmore's Cafe. Five sharp. Be there. I want to see if uh, there's something else here. It's me. I know. Okay. Eyes on that intersection.
I'm in. Slot the splinter to the right of the wheel. Done. God damn it. Talk to me, Pedro. One sec. One sec. Got it. I have control. I'll drive. So I just kick back, soak in the view? Eyes open. Cocksuckers could show up any minute. Easy, Pedro. No need to thank me. That's amazing. Nice work. They, they, the runner's on me. You handle it. Take the wheel. Got it. Whew. You all right there? Yeah. Okay. Safe travels. A thousand times, thanks. The longer we chit-chat, the easier it is for Zeta Tech to track us. Again. Of, of course. Over and out. Yeah, see ya. Beautifully done, V. Don't know about Pedro, but I consider you my hero already. See, V? Play your cards right, you'll always walk away with full pockets. Closing the gig. Hey amigo, it's been nice. We nailed some gigs, cracked some jokes, but we don't want things to get stale, eh? Soon as you get too cozy, the world blows right by. Got some right, got some side stuff on my own I wanna focus on. All this being a fixer, pushing contracts, I'm done with it. Least in a sense. But hey, don't cry. Sent you something to wipe away those tears. It's awaiting for you in your toy stash. See you around, V. Ride, Captain Ride. Let's see, what did he leave?
He left this. Bloody Maria. Increases knockdown, bleeding and dismemberment chance. Enemies deprived of their limbs increase your reload speed and crit chance. In other words, it's going to be a mess. Tier 1 Iconic. Okay, the beast in me is the next one. I'm gonna do that now. 